It has been two weeks since I've been using these OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z Base Edition. Again, this is a very long name for a headphone. And it's finally time for me to give you the review I promised you two weeks ago in the unboxing and setup video. If you haven't checked out that video, I highly recommend that you do so. I'll link it up right here. I'm gonna start with the best thing about these earphones in my opinion, and that is the battery life. I've used these quite a bit in the two weeks I've had these for, and I've only had to charge them once in the span of two weeks. Granted, I did not blast the music at 100% volume during this time period, which no one should, unless you want to go deaf. I usually use these to add about 25-30% to 30 volume. I found that to be the sweet spot for me in terms of volume. Granted, that's gonna differ with every person's ears and mainly the ear tips you're using, which in my case, the best ones were the default ones. But yeah, at those volume levels, this is still going after just one charge. Also, these headphones charge so damn fast, if you have a fast charger, that is. Now it's time to talk about the comfort factor of these earphones. I came to these from Truly Wireless Earbuds, OnePlus Buds Z, as I said in my unboxing and setup video. So it did take some time for me to get used to the neckband style again, but after like two to three days, they really grew on me. The neckband is really light, and of course, right now it is touching the skin of my neck. But when I was wearing t shirts like polos, which have collars, I literally forgot that the neckband was there. As I said, the default ear tips work the best for me. I think they are the medium size and they fit perfectly in my ears. There was never a moment where I was worried and felt like these might fall out of my ears. So, yeah, you definitely don't need to worry about them falling out of your ears while you're working out. Also, one more thing I found really interesting about these earphones in terms of comfort is when you're laying on either side, these don't hurt as much as other earphones do. That is probably because of this raised, elongated, leaner design that allows more room for the earphones so that they press onto the back of your ear instead of being jammed into it like my big dick in your mom. Next up, mic quality. Hello there. This is a mic test of the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. All the audio you're hearing right now is from the microphone of the headphones themselves. This test was recorded in Audacity at 44100 hertz. So you heard the test and you can be the judge of the mic quality yourself. I personally wouldn't recommend these for anything other than calls. And finally, before we move on to the sound quality, I want to talk about the one department where I do have a major problem with these earphones. And that department is connectivity. Now as you might have seen in the unboxing and setup video, these automatically connected to my OnePlus 7 as soon as I detached the two earphones and turned them on. And it also gave you some options to mess around with. The range on these is also very good. I kept my phone in this room and walked over to the room that is on the other side and they were still connected and working really well. It was when I moved to the very end of my home that they started to have connectivity issues. They still did not completely disconnect but yeah there was lagging in the sound. Now we come to the problem. After I recorded the unboxing and setup video and used these with my phone for a while, I unpaired these from my phone and connected them to a OnePlus 6. The same quick pair pop-up showed up and it was connected like it should. But the problem arised when one of the earphones, namely the right one, wasn't working in most applications. At that moment I thought, well, I guess these broke on the first day, f me I guess. But then we opened Minecraft and both the earphones were working fine. So then I disconnected it from the OnePlus 6 and connected it back to my phone and it was working with all apps. What is the problem here? Why is a device which is running on the latest version of Android and supports all the bells and whistles and fancy features these headphones provide not having most of the apps use both of the earphones? And this is just sad, man. Finally, let's come to sound quality and I have to be honest with you here, these sound really good. Better than my OnePlus Buds Z in most cases. Now I know that is the case most of the times when we compare neckband style earphones to something like truly wireless earphones because these have more space to store more components. This has a 9.2 millimeter driver and damn it sounds good. It's called bass edition but it's not like overpowering bass. It is good bass. What I mean by that is when you're listening to a song like Premonition by Eminem or my latest song called Flip the Script which is available on all platforms YouTube, Spotify, GeoSav and Apple Music. As a rapper I am lyrical, a threat I am formidable so pay close attention to how I'm bending all these syllables and many rhymes like a genius for Ben Phineas. You can still hear the details of the song through the bass but then again because these have good bass finding the right ear tip size is again important. In terms of gaming I tried these with Call of Duty Mobile. These worked really well there as well. I was able to tell where the gunshots or footsteps were coming from without any problems and to me the latency was also alright but then again I don't usually play games on my mobile so you should be taking that latency part from me with a grain of salt. But yeah the music experience here is great. Really immersive and impressive sound especially for the price. So yeah that was pretty much it for my review of the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z Base Edition. What did you think about it? Are you going to buy these? Let me know all this stuff in the comments down below. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell notification icon so that you may never miss out on more future content. Be sure to stream flip the script on any platform that you want and I'll see you next time.